Okay, so today in Faith Oven, we're going to be making a stir fry. It's an all vegetable stir fry, no meat. So this is going to be one of your meatless Mondays. So um, it's a sweeter stir fry. I add brown sugar to the sauce and what have you. Make sure that you, you don't skip out on fresh ginger and fresh garlic. It makes all the world of difference to me in Asian dishes, especially a stir fry. Um, I have a couple of ingredients. You can do it a simpler way. My kids love this dish, uh, even though it's all vegetables. They like to pair theirs with noodles. They always, Mommy, can we have noodles and stir fry? I love to pair mine with rice. So either or is just fine. All I'm going to show is the uh, vegetables, though. It's a ton of vegetables. Um, there's an easier way to do it. If you, don't want to have, if you don't have all the ingredients that I have on here, just do the soy sauce with the brown sugar and the ginger and the garlic, and it'll come out just fine. Um, that's just another creative way to do it. After dibbling and dabbling with so many different Asian dishes, because I love Asian food, um, this is something that I came up with, and I just hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Anywho, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share Faith's Oven. Let's go. Okay, so with my vegetable stir fry, these are my ingredients. As far as my vegetables, I do broccoli, carrots, purple cabbage, and onion. And then when I do my oil, I do coconut oil, and then to the coconut oil, in order to season it, I add garlic and ginger. And then these are the rest of my ingredients. I need Miriam sauce, soy sauce, red pepper flakes, brown sugar. And this is the uh, um, tamarind sauce. So those are my ingredients for my vegetable stir fry. Let's go. Okay, so all my ingredients are chopped. I have the onion, the purple cabbage, carrots and my broccoli. Now I'm going to heat up my wok and I'm going to add the coconut oil, the ginger, and the garlic. Okay, okay. now as far as garlic, I have two large cloves of garlic, okay? And then I have a tiny piece, pretty small piece of ginger. Now the garlic, I'm going to mince like I always do. And like I always say, y'all, fresh ingredients food taste that much better. So, there's some garlic. I'm going to add one more. There we go. Okay, you got your minced garlic. All right. Okay, so along with the garlic, I'm adding that piece of ginger. I'm just using a cheese grater and I, I, I grate it on the cheese grater as best I can. I already did most of it, and it wasn't recording for some reason. So I'm going to take this ginger, and I'm just going to add it to the garlic. Okay? And that's that. Okay. So while I'm warming up my wok, I'm going to add about four tablespoons. One, two. Three, four of coconut oil. And the reason I'm adding so much is because I have a ton of vegetables. And we're just going to warm that up so that we can get our ginger and our garlic going. Okay, okay so now I'm going to add my onions first. Oops. Just so they're on the bottom. Cooking up a little bit. See? And I'm going to add everything else. Except for my broccoli. My broccoli I do last because I don't like overcooked broccoli. I like my broccoli to be like perfectly tender. So.
I like a lot of broccoli in my stir fry. I mean, it's just good to have all these vegetables. My kids eat this. They love it. Even my one-year-old. And whenever I say we're going to have stir fry, nobody complains. So it's a wonderful dish, especially to get vegetables in. You know, I don't even add meat to it. That's how good it is. No egg, no chicken, no beef, no nothing. I mean, you can always do that. I'm sure it'd be absolutely wonderful, but this is the way I like Okay, now mine. for the sauce. So, soy sauce first, first things first. We're going to do about a third cup of soy sauce. And that's because I have a lot of veggies for stuff, okay? So that's about a third cup. Then we're going to do about a tablespoon of the tamarind sauce. I'm almost out of this. I usually don't measure, but I'm measuring just for you guys. And uh, it's not coming out, but I'm going to do about mm, a tablespoon of marinade. I probably pronounce all this stuff wrong, but about a tablespoon of the marinade sauce. And then we're going to do two tablespoons of brown sugar. So, one. Red pepper flakes, it gives it a nice kick because it's like a sweet but sweet but spicy kick, I guess you can say. Oops, this is all messed up. I will say add about an eighth, an eighth teaspoon of red pepper flakes, okay? And that's just me doing what I do, okay? And then we're going to stir everything all together. And then we're going to pour it onto the vegetables. Look how beautiful it looks. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. So now I'm going to add the sauce to it. Because it's pretty much done. And we're going to go from there. And so you just pour it on. And then you're going to stir everything together. And it's wonderful, you guys. It's my own creation, once again. <laughs> just mix some flavors, taste some stuff, and it's just wonderful. So, there you have it. You have your homemade stir-fry with tons of veggies, and it's absolutely delicious. Now, I'm going to pair mine. I've paired it with the noodles because my kids love the noodles. I'm going to pair mine with some rice. I love mine with rice. So veggies and rice. It's filling. Your stomach don't hurt after you eat, but it's wonderful. And that's it. So good. Oops. Oh, my God. <laughs>